Welcome to HANA Instruments. Today we're going to be going over the setup, calibration, and testing with the HI84102 Total Acidity Titrator for wine. Uh, once you've unpacked your unit, the first thing we're going to do is hook up the probes and tubing set uh, before we start the titrator. In the back of the titrator we'll have the pH and temperature probes hook up here, power cord here, and on-off switch on this side. The pH probe simply will slide on and then twist in a clockwise direction to lock into place. Place the probe in the holder. The temperature probe, simply slide in and place it opposite of the pH probe. Screw your tubing into your bottle, place it opposite the probes. Holding the inside black collar, place it on one side, stretch the tubing around the pump, placing the other side make sure you hold the inside collar. End of the tubing will go between the probes and the slot provided. Once you have all these hooked up, turn your meter back around, plug it in, and hit on. Machine will go through a quick self-diagnostic. When it's finished, it will display four dashes across the screen. First thing we want to calibrate is going to be the pH. Remove the cap, Twisting counterclockwise half a turn, place it behind the unit. Place the beakers that have been provided into the top of the unit. Make sure you add the make sure you add the stir bar. Fill the beaker halfway up. We're going to be using 8.2 pH buffer. And set aside the far bottom right button will be set up. When you hit this button, this will let you choose between endpoint 8.2 and 7. In this case, we're going to be calibrating and testing at 8.2. Hitting the setup button again, we'll remove it. Place the probe and cap back in the container, turning half a turn to lock it in, and hit the cal button. It'll blink cal and tell you what standard you should have in there, then hit the start stop button. The machine for 15 to 30 seconds will stir and take a reading. When it's done, it'll blink and put three more marks across the screen. Perfect. We are now done with the pH calibration. Now that we've calibrated the pH probe, the next step we want to do is purge the peristaltic pump. Place a beaker in the right side of the titrator. Place the cap and tubing in the back on and press the purge cycle. The purge will count down for five minutes and then shut off automatically, which will give it ample time to remove any air that's in the line. Okay, we're just about done with our purge setting here. Once it's done, we're going to move on to calibrating the pump. Okay, purge cycle is done. We'll go back to the four dashes across the screen. Remove the cap and the beaker with the titrant in it. We're going to take a clean beaker, add the stir bar, take the auto pipette that was provided. This is a two-stage pipette. And you go down to the first stage, put it into your titrant, lift it up. When purging it, you'll use the second stage. Take the 84102-55 standard. Again, first stage. Place it in your beaker. We're going to want to take our beaker and fill it to the 50 milliliter line with deionized water for the probe to be able to read it. Make sure you use the same deionized water for your calibration that you're going to be using for your testing. Place the beaker into the titrator. Rinse your probes and place back on the titrator. Make sure your tubing is down into the solution. Press your cow pump button. Standard will blink across the screen and then start. Once the calibration is completed, 
you'll flash done across the screen and then go back to the same four marks again. Now that we're done, now the pump is calibrated and the probe's calibrated, we're ready to start testing. Remove your cap. Always rinsing your probes in between each test. Again, take a clean beaker and some wine to be tested. Same as using the standard, we're going to take two milliliters of the wine. First, I'm going to rinse the, the pipette to make sure it's clean. Pull your two milliliters, place it in your beaker, same way we did the calibration. We're also going to bring it up to volume with deionized water, bringing it to the 50 milliliter line. Replace the stir bar. Place into the body of the titrator. Replace the cap. And make sure your tubing's down into the sample. And simply hit start. The titrator is going to titrate to a pH endpoint of 8.2, and then it'll display the results across the screen in grams per liter. The machine is done. Now you see the results, 5.4 grams per liter of total acidity for this wine. Um, if you're used to grams per 100 milliliters, just move the decimal point one place. This would be 0.54. Um, that's it for running a total acidity test on the 84102 um, from Hanna Instruments. When you're done testing for the day, I just want to go over real quick on how to store your meter properly. Um, we're going to start by rinsing and storing the pH probe. Take your pH probe, giving it a quick rinse with deionized water. Place the blue cap, followed by the O-ring. Make sure you have storage solution. seal it off and you're done. You can store it in any position. You always want to make sure that you remove all your titrant and sample from your beaker. On your tubing, for the longest life possible, you want to unhook one side again holding the bottom grommet and then simply, simply place the tip on the side of the bottle. After you're done with that, simply turn the machine off and you're done. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at the HANA HI84102 Total Acidity Titrator. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at any time. Thank you.